here at Ampleside, Vancouver, and we go under the pier here. See what kind of stuff we can find. So with Henry and his uh, crew from Cleaner Lakes, and we're gonna see what kind of stuff we can find here. In Vancouver, so you never know. Might find guns, phones, might find nothing. <laughs> so, take a dive, see what we find, and uh, stay tuned, guys. Unfortunately, as soon as I jumped into the water, I could tell it was not going to be a great dive. The visibility was rather poor, about three feet, and it only made it worse as soon as you started pulling up some of the larger items. So often in the ocean, when you go out a little bit deeper, after the first 10 feet, it can clear up. However, in this case, we were only diving about 10 feet of water the whole time, maybe up to 15, but because of that, the visibility was rather poor. Before starting to haul up some of the larger items, I decided to do a bit of a scouting mission and just see what we were working with. So it wasn't too many, um, I only seen one shopping cart and a couple of big crab traps, but Henry decided to uh, go a little farther away from me and he uh, found some on his own. So we happen to find a lot of these smaller crab traps. They're ones that people throw off the pier and I guess the current or waves um, rock them against the side of the pier and they get tangled up. So that's why we found a lot of these. Uh, we were able to cut out I think 14 in total. That was a pretty good haul. I was a little bit surprised I didn't find more of these small items. A lot of times fishermen drop scissors and stuff like this off the pier. Um, however, I think because of the poor visibility, I just wasn't able to see as far as normally. So there's probably more down there, I just couldn't see it. As the summer weather continues, more and more people are enjoying our nice docks and piers. However, that means more and more people are also losing their cell phones. So we found another iPhone here and we decided to send it off to the phone repair guru and see if he can try and fix it. Due to the salt water though, this one's going to be quite the task for him. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what? If you guys want to watch this full video, link down in the description below. There really was no easy way to get these shopping carts out. The first one I dragged out and it was just a pain. And the other way that we were thinking about is hauling up to the top of the pier. But the pier is a good 30 feet above the water right now with the low tide. So hauling a shopping cart up from that height is not going to be easy at all. And we tried the other ones with the lift bag that the scuba divers had. However, the water is so shallow that you just drag along the bottom. Um, we had it as high up as we could, but it was just a pain to try and pull the shore. So between the two ways, we end up getting two of them out, but we gotta think of some sort of better way in the future to get these out.
like shopping cart. I pull out two pots from like under the pier here. So there might be another one. Is this what you're talking about? This is on the cart. Did you see that on the bottom of the cart? It was tied with fishing line to it. There's just like starfish in it. Yeah. Starfish fishing duty. It was tied to the bottom of the shopping cart. They took it to it. What, what is she doesn't want to touch it. Oh, well, statue, no, it's so. that was a left charm for shitty fishing craft. I think it's a Buddhist kind of thing. Or not Buddha, uh, Hindu thing. Oh, there's something in it. Oh, yeah, right there. Show you guys those two. Oh, there's a little one right there. If you want to grab those two right there. Just, like, what do you think that is in there? Uh, go oh, okay. this side. Okay. Yeah. Is that an octopus? Okay. There's one on the. So pulled a couple of those traps. Some of the other guys pulled out some more traps. And Henry and I each got a cart. Fun fact, these are really hard to swim with. <laughs> As always, thank you guys so much for my Patreon supporters. It really does help me try to get out and clean some of our lake's notions. Um, I have been slacking off a bit on posting some videos from my last couple dives. Uh, however, I have been going out. I just haven't been making the videos. Um, thank you guys so much though. Uh, As always, everyone, take care. Thanks for watching.